Welcome to another GL Communications product demonstration video. This is a continuation of our Packet Expert series, which is our hardware platform for advanced Ethernet and IP testing. This video will demonstrate how to use Packet Expert for TCP throughput testing. For this simple demonstration, two Packet Expert devices will connect to each other on a local area network. One Packet Expert is the server, and one is the client. The two packet experts will exchange TCP data and compute statistics such as the MTU, round trip time, and TCP throughput according to RFC 6349. Each packet expert will be configured by a PC on a different management network. Next, we will configure the packet expert server. Setting up the packet expert server is actually trivial to do. All you have to do is launch the CLI Maps packet expert executable tell it which port to listen to, and simply click OK. All of the configuration will be done on the client side. First, double-click Remote, and set the IP address of the PC configuring the server packet expert. Then click Connect. Once the status says Server Ready, click on Network Setup. Here you can set up a symmetrical or asymmetrical test. In an asymmetrical test, you can configure different upstream and downstream information rates. This is also where you set the client MAC and IP address as well as the server MAC and IP address. Click Test Setup. You can transfer data in the upstream, downstream, or both directions and specify the size of the data transfer. You can also specify which tests you'd like to run. If you don't run the MTU test, you can manually set the MTU. Furthermore, if you don't run the round trip time test, you can manually set the round trip time. Click Start to begin the test. Okay, so the test has finished. So if you click Overall Status, you can see all tests were completed successfully. Click Overall Results. So here you see that the average throughput is about 700 megabits per second in the upstream direction and also in the downstream direction. You can view a graph of the throughput as a function of time. So you see here that the throughput is relatively constant throughout the duration of the test. You can also look at the round trip time also as a function of time. And finally, you can look at the throughput versus the retransmitted frames. And you see that we did have some retransmitted frames throughout the duration of the test, but the throughput still stayed uh, fairly constant in both the upstream and downstream directions. Click on Final Results, and here you see that Packet Expert tells you the actual throughput compared to the ideal throughput, as well as the actual transfer time compared to the ideal transfer time. And with these numbers, it can calculate the TCP efficiency, which in this case is 99.99%. Again, Packet Expert does this in the upstream and downstream directions. So this is how you run a TCP throughput test in Packet Expert.